five acres, well, probably five acres, and, and put up. Jessica and I are going to meet with Steve tomorrow, but we'd like to do probably a, a 12,000 square foot full building mm -hmm. for the shop and then maybe a 3,200 square foot office off of it. And uh, just kind of wondering, do you guys work with the county as far as their EDA? Mm -hmm. And, and uh, what, what type of programs are there? I know Kirby mentioned the revolving loan fund. I'm not sure how that works exactly, but um, just seeing, I know like in Watertown when I talked to them, they were, uh, their EDA had funds for if the water and sewer hookups, mm -hmm. they would pay up to 75% of the you know, water and sewer hookups. And just kind of wanted to try and get a feel for right now I have a builder putting together a plan and uh, trying to get make sure everything's feasible and works out. Absolutely. Um, yeah, just in the, in the past, what has EDA done with the revolving loan or anything like that? Honestly, I'd have to really look into it. I, I don't I don't know. Um, and I don't know not in the time that I've ever that I've been here, I don't think we've done anything like this. So what can I ask? What what is the fund for and what's it do, I guess? Something else I'd have to really look into. I I, I honestly don't know much about EDA. I, I hadn't been involved with it until about a year and a half ago, so um, I'm not sure what that would be. What, what, what would be authorized to fund with that, um, and, and if it would have to be something that would like create jobs or create some sort of benefit for the city, I don't know what the cost uh, benefit there is, so um, I'll have to look into that a little bit more. Are you, are you looking to basically just move your, your original, where you're at now to here, um, bringing your employees with you? Are you Hiring people in from the city, what's what's the plan there? Um, well, first of all, we're always looking for good help. Mm -hmm. um, we can we could add more help. Uh, so currently, there's probably roughly 12 to 15 that work at the we're in Watertown mm -hmm. uh, that that currently work there, and and we do have aspirations to grow. Um, the bulk of our employees go to the sites every day, mm -hmm. and uh, so that that would be if there are people in the city that, in fact, one of my employees lives in Montrose, is, is moving to Howard Lake. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm not sure if there's any currently that work or live in Montrose that work for us. Uh, but that would be kind of the, what we're looking at. And, and one of the things, too, I don't know if you guys have programs with the schools or whatever, but my kids go to Watertown schools, and we've been fairly, like tomorrow I'm going there, or Thursday I'm going there, and uh, to a, it's a business class, how to speak in the workplace and that sort of thing, so, but we've, we've uh, gotten help from the school on work release and different things like that. So that'd be something we'd be looking at as well. So and another another program the city of Watertown mentioned they had when we were looking at building there is uh, they have up to a hundred thousand dollars that they can grant to any business to for improvements or projects or whatever. Um, that, that was another they can split it up, they can get it all to one business, they, there's different things they can do. Um, so just kind of looking to see what if there's any options or mm -hmm. what, what we can do there. Yeah, just looking at it, you know, obviously the, the fun and, and the uh, revolving loan as well, but I think we'll get to dig into what it is we could truly offer there, you know. Don't know if we could say we could match that hundred thousand. <laughs> we don't think that's a couple hundred needs, you know. Um, but definitely don't want to don't want to turn down any potential new new 
do business coming to the office for sure. Um, so I mean, I think we just have to dig at that a little bit further and, and see what it is we can do and financially and all that stuff. And unfortunately, I think we need to talk with more more people to know on this one than we have. So if I'm not mistaken, that actually comes from from the county. That's it. It's a through the county program. And I know Watertown's Carver County. I don't know if Wright County has the same same type of opportunity either. But I know in looking at it, if I remember right, mm -hmm. there's benefits for moving from one county to the next. They'll they'll uh, they have different things. I'm not sure what all they are. And it, would it be better to I would need to work through the city, correct? If there is a county program. Or um, I believe yes, but you might, you know, you can check both options, mm -hmm. county and city. There, I okay. don't know where for sure. It's not come up in my tenure here that we had to do any TIF monies. And I remember the discussion, but I'm not going to quote details without having that piece of paper in front of me. So okay. I could look at it. I just don't have it here. Um, but I do believe it's part of it funded through the county. Yeah. Okay. Now I think your question you ripped up. We just look into the right county and be on track with them to see what else they have for different programs for businesses and all that. <coughs> Isn't just coming directly out of our city to get funds. Um, but I'm sure uh, with how, how much they're trying to do out there, I'm sure there's something that they've fallen to. Um, definitely if there's something that Carver County is doing that. Right, so not they can look into that and see if there's something there that they can at least get closer with that. So I think we need to send an email off to them and kind of ask those questions and maybe get you in contact with them directly too. Okay. You know, that way you can, you know, start with Jolene. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, is she back to work? Yeah, she's at a conference right now. Yeah. Uh, so she's not here today. Um, but she's a partner, so she's not exactly right county to be at. Yeah. But she might be able to help with some Guy. of the questions. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I mean, that's kind of their deal is recruit businesses and partnerships and all that. So mm -hmm. I can maybe start there. You might find other information or avenues, I agree. Um, when do you need answers, Bob? Uh, as soon as possible. We would like to. Uh, tie up the land, and I think they may have to do some lot land adjustments. I don't know. Wayne said it's not a big deal, but everything takes time. Depending on the pricing, we, we would be looking to, if it's reasonable to do it this winter, we would do it this winter, otherwise, we'd wait till next year. So, we, our, our current situation is we're renting in Watertown. We have about a half acre of outdoor storage, and we have about 5,000 square feet of shop space, and then we have in two different buildings, and then we have an office in a different building. So we want to bring it all together, and it's very in inefficient the way we're working. So we, we want to do something soon to break it. We need to find out some information. Yeah, I mean, I think <clears throat> looking into it, I mean, at least you could send over to me kind of what what uh, Carver and, and uh, they're doing and what they're offering you and like in Watertown as well. And we can kind of see what's, what we can match or, or maybe do better on as well for you. I think that's probably the best way to go about it. Um, trying to figure out, get hit everything that you're looking for. You know, and get with like a good match or not. Well, I, I can tell you, one of the challenges I have is getting that much land. Mm -hmm. Like the, the industrial park in Watertown, if I want a half acre or even two acres, it's not a big deal. But to get a big enough area, it, it's hard to come by. Yeah. And that's where I know this, this industrial park sat vacant for many years. And, and I just so you guys know, I, I tried to reach out to Shirley, who, who owns it. Mm -hmm. 
and I couldn't get through to them. And we've actually worked with them before, but they have a land division. And when Wayne listed it, then I was able to get to him. And so I'm not sure who he's talking to or, or what, but so it, it's the size of the lot. And I can't, uh, can't put a building anywhere, so. Okay. Um, yeah, I just need to know what all I need to bring onto my plate just with everything going on here, because mm -hmm. it's just a lot. So, so I need to contact Wright County EDA. Wright County EDA, maybe Jolene on there too and see. Yeah. yeah, and kind of see what's what what what's out there for for us to work with with Pete and Steve on. Yeah. And no more news. We have a lot going on here, and we're going to be short staffed in about a week. So okay. So um, yeah, it might so, not be as, as soon as you want. Right. You I mean, know. we can only go. Yeah. Well, and tomorrow we'll find out. It's, I'm sure we seem to think that it shouldn't be an issue to do what I'd like to do. And so we'll find out tomorrow. Yeah, I'll meet with uh, Steve Gertman, the planner, tomorrow. He was not able to rearrange the schedule to make this meeting, but we will talk tomorrow and maybe Steve will have some information about some other stuff that he's been around for a while. Perfect. Any other questions or discussions? I appreciate you guys' help. Absolutely. Do you have any questions for me, I guess? Um, what exactly would you be looking for as far as financial help? Uh, well, I mean, are you looking just for second lefties? Are you looking for a more substantial contribution? Or uh, everything anything else? That would help? I, don't, I don't know. Uh, building costs are pretty high, and I don't know what what that's actually going to come back in, and if, if that'll fall within our budget. So I, I don't know what, actually what what I'm looking for yet. So you don't have that concreted in or stated yet. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> currently, where it's at is that I talked to a builder, and he did, he put some drawings together to be able to price it up to get it. Back. Price or a, a close budget, and and depending on where that comes in, and the, the current interest rates and everything, it, it depends on. And I don't know, like these funds, if they're a low interest, like financing, or if it's a stuff that needs repaid, or just how that works. But uh, I don't know if there's TIF. You know, every every little. Well, Tim's a whole different thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I mean, if you want to talk Tim, that's a whole yeah, separate conversation. I mean, I, I would love Tim, but I don't know how much work it is, and if it's even in a Tim district or not. So you, but. so you would apply for the Tim district to be created. Okay. Um, and it would just depend on your qualifications, like Tim. It falls in different categories like housing or different types of commercial things, but you'd have to qualify for that piece of it first before you even apply. Oh, okay. But yeah. you have to qualify under some level of TIF. Okay. And Shannon was actually supposed to be here tonight, uh, this afternoon, but he had a death in the family, so he's not unfortunate. He will be here at the October meeting to talk more about TIF or another project, but um, he's going to have to answer some of those questions. Okay. He's our municipal advisor. Do we think it's more beneficial to wait and hear from everything that you're really needing and all that stuff before we reach out to Ray County and so we have exact questions that we're looking for? I think we can get general information. Yeah, we can get general information. But oh, you just to get the ball rolling on yeah. these to get started. Yeah. So even if you don't know these, you can get what could be available if you get some of that rolling. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you
it's kind of like you're getting here trying to get answers and we'll get answers and yeah. hopefully we can meet together with the way I understand. Anybody else? Uh, as Jeff said, uh, chance we meet is not going to make it today. Um, would have been waterfall information today. Um, but the next meeting, Tuesday, October 17th, 2023, 12 p.m. in the Montrose City Hall Conference Room. Um, and if there's nothing else, then I'll be in adjourned. Well, thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. thank you. And we are. We're